Okay, Kobe Bryant Ultimate Career Mixtape. Now this is this is gonna be a good video. I can already tell. This is, this is Kobe Bryant. So much emotion in the building. Ultimate Career Mixtape. I've never seen this before. I have no idea how. But. Everybody seems to have their favorite Kobe Bryant moment. Sad to see. Do you have a favorite Kobe Bryant moment in your career? Mm, nothing beats getting drafted. And you dream about that moment. You know, it was, it's just, uh, and that's the beginning of it all. This kid right here, mark my words, is going to be unbelievable. <laughs> wow, hey, he knew it. Um, I, I'm, let's check, I'm going to check out the, 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 the script, the script, why can I not talk right now? The description of the video is from the flash of beginnings as an 18 year old kid coming to the lead determined to take over. Uh, the 20 year NBA veteran who submitted his legacy as Lakers ro royalty and an NBA legend. Check out his career at the Ultimate Highlight. Here we got a good LeBron changing direction right He was 18. Wow. Ooh. It's a Larry Bird. Man, this dunks are crazy. Now, I think, to be honest, really, the best comparison for Kobe is Michael Jordan. Just in my opinion. Because he can do a little bit of everything around the same height. And the best comparison for LeBron is Magic Johnson. Really, that they should be comparing, comparing each other. And doesn't Kobe have more titles than LeBron, too? LeBron just got, got the longevity. Kobe had that too a little bit. Yo, shoe fell off. Look, it's, I mean these layups remind me a lot of MJ. They're not nowhere near like they're not MJ level, but they remind me of it a little bit. Yo. About to get moved. Oh. He's like, get that out of here, bro. It's all a high job right there. Yeah, MJ for sure. I think he modeled this game a little bit after him as well. Oh, yo, that that is probably one of my favorite moves I've ever seen. Okay, so what he does, he goes behind the bat. That's like one of my favorite moves. Is it just lost its defender and then still did a three sixty almost? Oh my. Whoa. Hold up. That's a nice shot. Man, that was smooth. You won't see this play duplicated. Okay. Man, he loved doing those behind the bat thing. Those are fun to do. Oh, God. I like those too. That's something I can do. Ooh. Good check.
Whoa, the 2000 NBA champions. been dreaming about actually dreaming about hitting the game winning shot i think for myself personally it just uh <laughs> just gives me more confidence but i think more importantly it gives my teammates the confidence in me so hold up is that phil jackson confidence but i think is that their coach too gives my teammates the confidence in me to perform in these type of situations and, uh, and that's something that i value tremendously all right we got mad Oh yeah, well you could probably see that. I'm just hoping this adds a uh, to 15 second ad. Yeah, yeah, just skip to your uh, phone or computer 10 seconds. But in the meantime, subscribe to the channel if you want to. I mean, you can do that if you if you uh, if you like some more reactions to um, some of the greatest players of all time. We did we've done a Michael Jordan reaction, we've done a Larry Bird reaction so far. Um, you know, a lot of different things. We talk about sports as well, like what's going on in the modern day NBA lounge. Uh, you know, the lounge. Hey. Shaq. Pff. Man, that's a, one of the greatest duos of all time, for sure. Oh, man. Hold up. This right here? Uh, he did, how did he pass that? I've done it before. Back to back. Good move, good move. That like hesitate kind of kind of shot. And that that um I do that a lot. This this move right here, what's it called with the pump fake? I usually get my defender, but most of the time they land on me. It's foul. Like right there. Yeah, I gotta learn how to get them to just jump like so I can get by. Cause, Cause if I'm open. I know I can make this shot. It's, it's just for me trying to find a, a way to get open. A three beat? A three beat? What year was that? 2000 to 2003? The 3 Oh. You got that left-handed shot. Yo, I kind of shoot like that left-handed too, to be honest. This isn't, it's not as good, nowhere near. But, that would work here. Crazy. Yo. How many dunks did he do? It's like every single dunk of his is different. You know he would have for sure won the dunk contest this year. Ooh. 
Okay. Can you shoot a three? Fifty-two. Yeah, in my opinion, he's a once again like the same with Larry Bird. I'm having a tough time. Just for me, who to put five? Magic, Bird, or Kobe? I'm thinking. Ah, there's so many good reasons to put either one of them. I don't have a logical explanation to put why I should put one of ahead of each other. I'm thinking I'm gonna put. I don't know. Alright, well, I'm, I'm gonna. I'll find out once we watch Magic's uh, Ultimate Career next day. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Tell me about that. <laughs> well, I mean, like I said, it, it's it's it, there's a difference between who you are and what you are. I mean, what I am when I step on that court is when I become that. I am I am that kid of snake. You know, I'm stone cold. Man. The music was a little loud right there at that moment, but we got another five second ad, so it's fine. Took that moonwalking, whatever. Kroger delivery is always fresh because we check Ignore this. Hopefully it does not get copyrighted. Okay. Bruh. Man, wah. Man, wah. Shaq. Oh, that's Shaq. I thought it was Shaq. Bruh. That is my shot. That's my shot. Yo, this is literally my shot right here. I literally can make this 10 out of 10. When it's over the backboard like that. Like I have like this shot right here is almost impossible for me. Like a step back right here, but behind the goal I can do that. Cause I can put the arc on it. Hey. Yo. He <laughs> just threw it up. Don't don't yeah me. Ain't no way. Oh, for LeBron? I forgot, that's right, he played the same time as LeBron did. He's like three years older. I remember the day uh, Kobe died. It was the day before LeBron passed him, like in, was it in points? LeBron passed him in something. And I was like, man, when I saw Kobe die, I was like, man, what a time. Like, what well, a time it was so specific, like the day after LeBron passed him, like, I can't remember the exact stat. And what happened was I had a friend that texted me like before I even got any updates that he died, dude, it just said Kobe dead, and I was like, Kobe dead? What are you? What are you talking about? Like, what? And I looked it up, and I was like, reports helicopter crash in the Los Angeles area. So what I did actually, I um, I looked up Kobe Bryant. I saw he. It still said he was alive, 41 years old. So I took a screenshot of it, and then like two minutes later, I saw. On Google, it says dead. February 20. February, uh, what was it? 12th? 11th? 2019? 2020? It was 2020, 
Man. <laughs> this, you can get to the rim so easily, like, nobody can guard him, it seems like. Left hand, too? I, mean, I know about his work ethic as well. How he would stay in the gym non stop and everything. I don't know, I've seen some videos like him in high school and everything. I've seen a lot of other videos of Kobe. He won MVP? How many times? The Bill Walton? Luke Walton? One of the greatest to ever play the game. It is so this is modern era because he's playing with Trevor Ariza right here. Trevor Ariza is back in LA. So I'm guessing that's like 2020, uh, 2013 to 2016 maybe? Because he retired in 2016 if I'm not mistaken. I actually remember watching his last game live. Very few NBA games before 2016 I remember watching live because I was very young. But I, I do remember a few watching. I remember watching the finals. I remember watching live Steph Curry's buzzer beater against OKC from half court. I remember watching that live with my grandpa. I remember watching Kobe's last game. A lot of big games I remember the most. Like, I, I remember watching Clay's big quarter. He had 37. A lot of the finals, Golden State vs. Cavs, I remember that. Those are my earliest memories though in basketball. Because I wasn't really into it that much. My favorite sport was probably baseball. Baseball or football. <laughs> Ooh, that left hand shot looks nice. I feel like left hand too. <laughs> Man. It's won like five times. There's Curry. We're getting late in his career. C3 PO got dunked on by Kobe. Man, he has that shot down with his left hand. That left hand kind of floater. That's tough for me. I don't have that much strength in my left hand. I will say, I do have a story on. Um, this was actually the very first game. This is crazy too. So um, this is the very first game I remember watching uh, without Kobe Bryant. I actually went to the game, it was in Charlotte. It was, if I remember correctly, it was the Lakers playing Charlotte. I'm a, I'll am look this up after the video because I don't want to get the facts wrong. I went to the very first Charlotte game. I remember because they did the eight second, 24 second violation. I, would, I witnessed that live, but. What am I have to do? I'm gonna have to look it up after this video. I'll do it. I'll do it a lot here on, on to make sure I don't get it wrong. Hey. Hey, that was crazy. I like that Lakers jersey. I will admit, not a big Lakers fan, but if I lived in LA, 
I would like to go to a lot of those games. Very exciting. They have a lot of good players and everything. It's been like that for a while. Hey. You know all the celebrities that go to LA, all the Lakers games too. <laughs> but you know, me and MJ like to go to Charlotte games sometimes. Get that VIP seats. Please don't be an ad. Please skip this ad, bro. This is the worst time for an ad. What? What is this? Scissors? Tape? What? Come on. Alright. It's crazy that he scored that many points in his last game. And it's, that was still modern. Joe Ingles was still on, was on the Jazz. Well, I think he got traded now. 43. No, it's going for 60, bro. <laughs> Julius Randle. No, it was very, very rem reminiscent that it, his last shot was a free throw as well. Do they win this game? Shaq is there. Alright, uh, you know what I'm gonna do? I don't know, I wish I could like react to mess. Maybe I'll do like a live stream, I'll do it off camera, just me reacting to like uh, the entire game. I'll think about it. Hey, that's that might be the that might be a better career mix at that ending than uh, MJ's man. Cause MJ, I don't know if he had like an out outrits outrits like a ending like that. So let me look up what day. Give me a couple minutes here, I'm a, cause I want to get this fat right. Get this fat right. Kobe Bryant died January. Oh, it was in January. Oh yeah, January 26, twenty six, twenty twenty. Charlotte Hornets schedule. 2020 because I remember going to the game that literally the first game after he died we went to <clears throat> it was in Charlotte it's a home game no no this is 2022 schedule so I think it's it'll I can find it on ESPN.com Charlotte Hornets schedule 2021 to 2022 that's right that's this year I want to find yeah, yeah I can go last year there we go yeah yeah 2020 it was the season of, if it was 2019 to 2020, that was, it was that season because it was early 2020. Okay. So it was against the Knicks. That's right. It wasn't against the Lakers. Okay. Yeah, I remember going to, it was the Knicks game. They didn't play the, they played the Lakers early in the season if I remember correctly. So let me see here. The game they were on a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight game losing streak. And the crazy thing is they won this game. They did the Kobe um 
the specs and everything. They won 97-92 against the Knicks. It was on a Tuesday. We went January 28th, two days after Kobe's death. We went. It was um. Terry Rozier had 30 points. Uh, Devontae Graham, man. After that, they went on a five-game losing streak. So I can tell that was not their season. But it was a really, really nice game. That I went to uh, Hornets versus Knicks. Interesting. All right. Well, thank you for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it, and see you next time.